Indiana has a new law that will fight human trafficking. The attorney general pointed out its benefits while visiting Jeffersonville today. Annalisa Gale is at the Clark County Government Building with how it could help these vulnerable victims. Annalisa? Vicki, Act 532 passed in the Indiana House 97 to 0. It will mean a few changes for adult entertainment businesses. It's time that criminals who purchase sex from children know that the secret is out. The campaign is known as Indiana's Not Buying It. It's one way lawmakers hope to help victims of human trafficking in Indiana. We now see that a lot of these are young runaway teens, uh, as early as 12 to 14 is the average age. Uh, they're usually abused, sexually abused at home. Uh, sometimes in foster homes. The new law, also known as Act 532, calls for seizing property from those who help traffickers. Sadly, this legislation is needed in our state. Uh, it's not something that we typically think about for our Hoosier children. Uh, human trafficking seems like it's uh, an issue that's far from here. The law sponsored by State Senator Aaron Houchin also targets businesses like strip clubs and topless bars where victims can be taken advantage of. Under the law, adult entertainment businesses will be required to check performers' IDs to make sure they are of legal age. They will also be required to display posters about human trafficking. And performers will have to sign documents saying they are aware of signs of human trafficking. You shouldn't profit off the hurt. And, and, and the misery of others, especially young lost women, which there's a lot of it in this industry. Sean Michael is the director of operations at the New Albany topless bar called the Rustic Frog. He agrees the law is needed, but is concerned of the impact of the posters on his customers. People come here to get lost in the concept of a gentleman's club, and the last thing that they want to see is a sex trafficking poster hanging on the wall. You know, but. We don't have a problem doing that. If that's what the state wants, that's what the government asks for, that's what we'll provide. Vicki, the new law takes effect on July 1st. As for that money seized from those who help human traffickers, it will go towards a fund for helping to prevent human trafficking and helping those who are victims of human trafficking. Live outside the Clark County Government Building, I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY.